Hey, RT family, Ryan Reynolds here with Keller Williams Consultants Realty with their July 2022 Greater Columbus Real Estate Market Update. So what's going on in the real estate this month? What we're gonna talk about are three things. Number one thing we're gonna talk about is inventory. We're gonna talk about where that inventory is with the number of homes that are available for sale. The second thing we're gonna talk about is kind of what's gonna happen in the future. Where are we seeing things go? And the last thing we're gonna talk about is are you covered? Do you have risk sitting out there that you don't even know about that if you did know about would really help you out, but if since you don't know it, you might be in trouble. You're gonna to have to stick around to the end of the video so you can see that part. So let's go ahead and get started with the first thing and that is inventory in the real estate market. So what we are seeing right now is the inventory climbing. Uh, last April, May, I should say March, April, we saw right around 900 active listings on the market at any one time. And that means that if you were looking for to buy a house in all of Greater Columbus, you could choose from around 900 houses and regardless of price or area. Right now we're seeing those same number of homes grow to around 2,700. So that has actually uh, increased three times for uh, the number of homes on the market. And that's pretty good news if you're a buyer because if you've been a buyer in the last few months, things have been really tough, haven't had much to choose from, and if you ha did have something you liked, you've had to really move fast and get there before anyone else. Now that still kind of applies because the next thing I'll tell you is that there are around 10,000 real estate agents, which means there are four times, not five, but four times the number of homes, um, real estate agents I should say, as there are homes available. So at least four people are probably competing for every home or theoretically at least that's happening. The reality is, is that the homes that are in really good condition and are priced well are moving quickly and having multiple offers, while homes that are maybe not in the greatest condition or could use some, uh, some love or some price adjustments maybe are too high, then those ones are sitting for a couple weeks before adjustments are made and then those are selling too. So that's kind of what's going on in the real estate market right now. Okay, now the second thing I want to talk about is the future of what's going to be going on. So that can really uh, probably be broken down into a few different categories. Uh, we talked about inventory a little bit and how it's grown to now, and that probably will continue to grow. So we're probably likely to see more houses on the market. Um, so anyway, interest rates are coming up, making it less affordable to buy a house, thereby knocking some of the demand out of the market. And if you know anything about economics, a lower demand with an increasing supply will probably mean the prices will either stabilize or uh, maybe come down. I don't think that's going to happen, uh, especially given our local economy uh, with Intel moving to town and all of the jobs and things that seem to be coming in. So we talked about inventory, we talked about uh, interest rates, inflation. Inflation does continue to be a problem. Uh, the government doesn't seem to be able to get that under control. I don't know that they're going to be, though I do know that in retail, sta uh, retail stores are starting to complain about the amount of inventory that they have, uh, which could very well mean that they'll uh, have to lower pricing on things, which may cool down inflation. And if that happens, that'll be a good thing. Also, gas prices have started to come down a little bit. I'm really not sure why they're coming down. I don't really see a whole lot of uh, logic in gas pricing ever. But in any case, I don't know why, although I'm happy about them coming down. So what does that all mean? Well, that means that likely we're going to be seeing sort of a flattening market coming up through um, the rest of the year. Immediately in the next month or so, we typically do see a slowdown. It'll probably pick back up after the Labor Day weekend. And then we're going to see probably a pretty good, uh, not yet balanced, still a seller's market, but a little bit less of a seller's market for the remainder of the year. And that actually could be a good thing because it'll allow a lot of buyers who've been shut out to be able to buy something and get into their uh, new homes. Okay, so that brings us to the third and most important thing we are going to talk about today. And you are about to be rewarded for watching to the end of the video. And that is we're going to help you cover your risk. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to make you aware of what your risk is so you can go out and fix the problem before you have a problem, if that makes sense. So what am I talking about? Well, as most people know, the value of real estate has gone up substantially in the last few years. In fact, last month we heard it was going had gone up nationally about 20% year over year which is a huge change. And that means if your house was originally worth 100,000, it's worth 120. But if you had a $500,000 house, that means it's worth almost uh, $600,000. So it could be a substantial amount depending on how big your house is. So why does that matter? Isn't, isn't that a good thing that your house value has gone up? Yes, it's a good thing. However, your insurance policy may be old. And when I old, I mean if you wrote your insurance policy for your homeowner's insurance on your house more than a few years ago, they may have it insured for a fixed value. 
If you have your house at a fixed value from three or four years ago, it is undoubtedly below the value of what the house is now and undoubtedly below the construction costs of what it would cost to build a new one. So the risk that you have and what you need to do about is you need to call your insurance agent and make sure that your house is either insured for replacement value or if it is a fixed value that you update that value to what the house is currently worth. How are you gonna find that out? Lots of ways you can look online. Your insurance company might have a, uh, a mechanism by which to do that and to update that value. But you can always, of course, call us. We're the real estate experts. We can help you figure out how much your house is worth. And if it looks like it's off by a lot, then you should definitely get something done. So there we have it, our RTA family. That is gonna wrap up our July market update. As always, if you have some real estate need or need anything from us, we'd be happy to help. Feel free to reach out. And as always, it's the Ryan Reynolds team, unlimited opportunities and exceptional experiences.